Okay, I don't know where my chicken went. Goy has been out. Goy finds a way to escape and she's always out. Oh, there she is. She was following me, me around during the garden update. This is where I just wiped out a little bit ago before I did the garden update. I had a couple nice new cuts in my leg. Come on, Goldie. I guess I'm calling her Goldie now. She seems to follow me everywhere. Okay, she was following me during uh, the garden update. This is what the rest of the crew is doing over here. And there was rumors of a fox being sp uh, spotted around here up the street. We're not too sure if that's going to be a fox or coyote. Hopefully not anything bad. We don't want to lose any more animals. Especially these guys. Oh, she's going to keep hitting you. Good. Bucko been in the tub for probably like five straight hours. Bucko was in the tub when I went to work and when I got home from work. He's still in the tub. He lives in that tub. But I'm probably going to be cleaning the tub out tonight for him. Hi, everybody for a walk. Goldie's <laughs> Goody, behind me. We haven't got any duck eggs in a long time either, so I don't even know if any eggs are fertile. I'm getting a chicken eggs. And I supposed to put the one incubator. So we have two in there now. We had one plan yesterday to see if the eggs are fertile again. I put one in today. We got. Better hang out. I think this one. Oh, on my back. It's funny. And it went up for night. Hi. What a friendly chicken. I hope the other guys are as friendly as you. Uh huh? Where are you going? You, you made all that time to escape, now you're trying to get back in. Okay, I'm gonna let her go back in with our friends. Why is it safer in there too? Okay, Goldie. It's time to go back in. I had a fish named Goldie once. She lasted like four years. Ugh, it was a long time for a goldfish. Okay, now you can go back in and hang out. For a she won't be back. They'll, they'll be going in probably maybe in a half hour or so. The sun's starting to go down now. But the weekend's kind of concerning though because it's gonna be could be reaching up to 100 this weekend. In the next 10 days, it'll be at least in the high 90s. Not something that typical we normally get in Pittsburgh. But it's crazy. We get these really cold winters, like close to like negative like 35. And we get summers occasionally get that hit uh, over 100. But we have the shade here. Or I, I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna put them in here, or I might let them walk around the yard here because they have a lot of shade. They can go back in the woods there. They go under the coop, under there, stay warm. But I don't think it's the gardens there, though, or in the garden. What's where? It, whenever um, Bucko escapes, the first thing I check is right in the middle of the garden. That's where he is, is sleeping. So the garden's a lot of shade too. So I gotta figure out what exactly I might do. Cause I don't want them to overheat, even though I have the tub. I might have to put ice cubes in the tub too, just to keep them keep them nice and cool. And we had the baby ones inside the coop too, so. It does get pretty hot in there, but we have a lot of ventilation, plus it'll be in the shade. So I think you should be fine there. Um, any issues, I could always figure something out. Hi. When I, get, when I take them out, I'm probably going to clean the water out. A lot of algae. They probably love the, eating, love the algae. But it's time for the water to be clean. No, oh, he's, he's still following me around. Hi, buddy. Don't fall in the water. It'll not be too fun. So, guys, I'm going to keep you guys updated on what's going on with the eggs. It's still going to take a couple more days so I figure out if it's a fertile or not. Um, so we have to wait and see. Maybe be closer by the end of the week or weekend. We'll know for sure. So, hope you guys enjoyed the tropical tropical plant. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the, the animal update, the chicken duck update. We're still waiting to have baby ducklings this summer too. But the farm we've got everything from has not been laying all summer long. So it's really not too much. It just possibly could be a late year, late summer hatch. Coming up, we, the latest we hatched was in September, so we have at least have a month to go before the deadline comes around. It does take a month for them to hatch, so I hope we do hatch ducklings. I love ducklings so much; they're so much fun. But guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's chicken and duck update, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Please make sure you subscribe, like any questions, leave me in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.